on the side of the drum unit, remove the E-ring. On the front of the cartridge, remove the two screws. Slide the metal axle of the drum. Make attention not to lose the metal pin. Remove the corona assembly. Remove the drum. Remove the three screws on the side of the cartridge. Remove the side plate. Note the position of the spring. Remove the spring. On the other side, remove the three screws. Remove the right side plate. It's not necessary to remove the gears, but take note of their position. Make attention not to lose the two little white bushings. Remove the developer cylinder gear. Remove the two bushings of the developer cylinder. Remove the developer cylinder. Slide the metal plate and open the tuner fill hole. Clean out all the remaining toner from the cartridge. It's better to use compressed air. If possible, use a toner workstation. You can also clean the cartridge at open air. Do not breathe the toner dust. Make attention not to damage the smile or ceiling blade. If this blade is bent in any way, the cartridge will leak. Clean the edge of the doctor blade so there is no evidence of buildup along the edge. If any buildup exists, the cartridge will streak. The doctor blade controls the amount of toner on the developer cylinder. Make attention, these metal blades are easily bent or warped. Gently clean the developer cylinder with isopropyl alcohol and water. It carries the toner from the supply chamber to the drum. Clean the corona wire and the grid with isopropyl alcohol. Make attention not to leave any lint behind. Slide the metal plate in its original position. Reinstall the developer cylinder and its two bushings.
Insert the side gear. Insert the spring. Install the side plates with its screws. Install the other side plate. Install the drum. Reinstall the Corona assembly. Insert the metal axle of the drum. Insert the metal pin. Install the E-ring on the metal axle. Insert the two screws. To reset the cartridge, turn the gear on to clockwise. And the work is done.